by MP and senior lawyer Kapil Sibal has set a cat among the pigeons, uh, making scathing remarks against the present state of judiciary and force. He concluded that he has no faith left in the Supreme Court, a practicing lawyer himself. Sibal alleged that insensitive, that sensitive cases, pardon me, were being assigned to certain judges and the outcome is known. Sibal made these remarks at the People's Tribunal organized on Saturday, the theme being judicial rollback of civil liberties. आप बड़ी बड़ी अदालत की जजमेंट्स की बात करते हैं लेकिन जमीन पे क्या हो रहा है उसको आप देखिए और ये सोचो कि द सुप्रीम कोर्ट के द्वारा आपको राहत मिलने वाली है आपको बड़ी भारी गलतफहमी है जिस कोर्ट में जज बैठाए जाते हैं थ्रू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉम्प्रोमाइज जिस कोर्ट में कोई सिस्टम नहीं है कि किस कौन सा कोर्ट किसकी अदालत पे लगेगा जिसमें चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया तय करता है कि ये कोर्स ये मैटर किसके साथ जाएगा और कब जाएगा कब सुनवाई होगी कोई सिस्टम नहीं है वो कोर्ट कभी इंडिपेंडेंट हो ही नहीं सकती now, not only have complaints been filed against Kapil Sibal, but the All India Bar Association has also taken offence to the comments by the senior lawyer. The law minister has also joined the issue. The statement made by Kapil Sibal and the Congress leaders are on the line of their existing mindset. For the Congress party and uh, their like-minded people, courts or any constitutional authority must favour them or work according to their interest. Whenever constitutional authorities or the courts give a decree or a judgment against their mindset, they start attacking the constitutional authorities itself. This is very, very sad for the entire uh, country that prominent leaders and the prominent parties are criticizing the constitutional authorities, be it Supreme Court, High Court, Election Commission, or any other important agencies. These agencies and institutions are absolutely autonomous and they work according to the rule of law and guided by the statutes. We are here to understand that everything works as per rules and as per laws. Our government is absolutely clear in our mind that country must be governed by the constitutional proprieties as well as rule of law.